This video is about microwave oven transformers and how to determine uh, the high voltage output of a microwave transformer. This can be difficult for a lot of people because the MOT puts out about 2000 volts usually somewhere between 1800 and 2200. If we're just pulling arcs, we don't really care about the output voltage, but if we want to make a uh, high voltage power supply, say for charging capacitors or uh, amateur radio use or who knows what, we might want to know the output voltage of our microwave oven transformer. The microwave oven transformer typically has three windings. On this unit, the bottom winding, made with this fairly thick copper wire, is the uh, primary, which is connected to your uh, 110 or 220 volt mains. The next winding is this one made of uh, insulated wire here that's only a couple of turns. This puts out a couple of volts at a couple of amps to power the filament of the magnetron tube in the microwave. This winding typically isn't used by experimenters. The third winding is the high voltage secondary that produces between 1800 and 2200 volts usually to operate the magnetron tube in the microwave. I've turned the transformer around here for looking at the secondary. There's an output tab for the high voltage here. The other end of the high voltage secondary comes out and is connected to the core of the transformer. This is why when one of these is running, you never want to touch the core because it is live connected to the high voltage secondary winding. It would be very simple to know my microwave oven transformer's output voltage if all I had to do was hook up a line cord and then use a voltmeter to measure between the core and the output tab of the secondary. But there's a problem. The problem is my voltmeter only reads up to 600 volts AC. I have another meter that reads up to a thousand volts AC, but neither of these is any good for a moth that's going to put out between 1800 and 2200 volts. So it looks like I can't just hook up a line cord and uh, use my voltmeter. What we're going to do is we're going to use the microwave oven transformer as a step down transformer. So what we're going to do is hook up the 120 volt line voltage to the high voltage secondary. So I've hooked the hot up to the tab and I've put a clip lead on my neutral going to the core. So my 120 volts will go uh, through the secondary coil and back out via the core. So I won't be touching the core, of course, when I uh, measure what's coming out of the low voltage winding. When I plug this in, I'm going to want to measure the voltage across the uh, what's normally the primary winding. And we will uh, see only a few volts out of here, so my voltmeter will easily be able to measure this voltage. Let's set up and do that. The first thing I want to do is <clears throat> measure and record my line voltage. Now today in my shop I have 125 volts. So I'll uh, mark that down. Yeah, 124.9 Oh, okay. Voltage changes around here, obviously. Uh, 
probably because of other stuff turning uh, on and off on the farm here. But I'm going to go with the... Uh, say an average of 124.5 volts as it wanders up and down here. Having measured my line voltage, I've now hooked up uh, line voltage to the high voltage secondary of the microwave oven transformer. So now I'm all set to uh, plug it in and see what kind of low voltage I get from its primary. Okay, I'll plug it in and we'll see what we get. We are getting 5.9 AC volts. So I'll write that down. We now have all the measurements we need to figure out what's going on, so I will disconnect this thing and we'll finish up. Here's our result. We recorded the line voltage and we put it into the high voltage secondary. We recorded the voltage that was being given off by what's normally the primary. So 124.5 volts line voltage, 5.9 volts was the output. So we divide the line voltage by the output voltage that gives us 21.1 in this case. That means as the transformer has a ratio such that uh, when the line voltage is put into the primary, it'll be multiplied by 21.1, giving us the secondary output voltage. So when this transformer's hooked up with 124 and a half volts on its primary, the high voltage secondary will be putting out a maximum of 2626.95 volts according to the calculations. So this uh, fair sized mot from a fairly big microwave seems to have a good kick to it. I'm surprised, because some of the smaller transformers I've tried this with only uh, give 1800 or 1900 volts. This one uh, kicks. But anyway, that's how you can uh, work out what voltage, what high voltage, you would be getting from your microwave oven transformer. Also, knowing this ratio, you could remove the uh, 2600 volt secondary and you'd be able to work out uh, using that ratio uh, what to do in order to uh, wind any secondary voltage that you want. So this is a useful thing to do with an MOT if you're going to use it for anything more than drawing high voltage arcs or uh, doing some fractal wood burning with it or something like that where the output voltage doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope this video was useful and interesting uh, to a few viewers and as always there'll be more to come.